that upstairs and was off the mark. There you go. at all by Manny Pacquiao. I set on the uppercut, but was unable to land it. No need to be on the inside. Oh, good defense there. That was a fine block by Clubber. the uppercut. Pacquiao's showing us that he is sticking with the game plan. But keep in mind, that game plan had him down earlier in this fight. What would you be telling him right now, Teddy? Well, first of all, you got to explain to him very quickly and very clearly why he got caught. You could still do the other things. The other things that we thought going into this fight is still going to work, but make an adjustment. It's not that you didn't do the thing that could work. You didn't do it properly. Return to sender. He gives him back one of his own. Pacquiao's doing exactly what you should to be a strong defensive fighter. You got to block those punches away. Not the most accurate uppercut you'll see. Keep it simple, okay? Just keep it simple. You're making this harder than it has to be. Nice work on the outside. Keep it up. Listen, when you pick his jab, when you close the jab, carry it away and you'll catch it, okay? You got that? It's gonna happen. You're gonna catch it. Dead even fight on Teddy's scorecard here through 10 rounds. Round number 11 underway. Pacquiao is looking for a way to find some kind of edge. What could it be, Teddy? Who gets the last word, Joe? You remember when you were a kid, you used to have those arguments, and you always wanted to be the last one to say something? Well, that's what it's about. Who's the last one to say something? Who's the last one to throw a punch? He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Blocked there by Clubber. Takes one to give one. Uppercut in return. A headshot blocked. Clubber's defense. Is it ever good? Look at how easy he's able to block those punches. As basic as can be, but it works. A jab followed by the straight. 
<laughs> he missed with that headshot. Stay on the outside. He gets rid of that body shot. Good defense upstairs to stay away from that offensive assault. Keep moving. Keep moving. Keep your head as well as he takes. You saw it on that exchange. Range! Range! <sighs> and that's the end of round 11. Pacquiao's probably trying to assess things right now as that round comes to an end. I think it's a close, good, solid fight that he's still very much in, but I do think he's on the downside of the scorecard. Yeah, but the most important thing is he has to know that. See, that's the thing. Can a fighter be honest with himself? And that's where the corner comes in. Somebody has to whisper in his ear and say, hey, listen, you might think you're in this place, but the reality, you're not. I want you to burn the head and the body, all right? Up, down, and over again. Which way will it go? Both men want it badly. Now, the final round. Cover up, cover up! <laughs> now hugging on the inside. Not what he was looking for. That's a miss right there by Manny Pacquiao. Good block by Clubber. hit but he sends it right back Glover's making for a very frustrating round now for his opponent because he's moving so much he's really utilizing that ring and showing that he's got the better footwork yeah he's doing what the old times would say Joe he's giving angles keeping his opponent off balance his opponent is strong but he needs to be set to punch he's making sure he doesn't allow him to get set doesn't give him that kind of landscape unable to score with the hook He needs to improve the accuracy a little bit. That was comical by Clubber. Pace yourself. Come on, kid. Fuck. 
throughout the night, right up until that final bell moments ago, both of these men tried to determine their fate. But now it's in the hands of these judges. The pressure now is truly on the judges because this is the kind of fight where you need talent as a judge, you need discipline as a judge, and of course honesty to get the right decision here.